Hey everyone, Jose here from Rivian Tracker. I wanted to take a minute to show you guys how to pair a phone with your Rivian vehicle, whether it's an R1T or R1S. Uh, as iPhone season is here, um, you know, a lot of a lot of users are getting new phones, and so they're having you know questions or issues on how to sync their new phone with their truck. Uh, you know, and so what I want to do is I want to show you here. On my wife's phone, uh, she just got a new iPhone 15, how to sync that phone with the truck so that uh, you can also follow these steps and do. So um, let's get started with this video. All right, you join me here inside my Rivian. Uh, I have my wife's iPhone here below. As you can see, it's asking to set up as a phone key uh, so that means that this new phone has not been configured with a phone key. So what I want to do first is before we do anything on the phone is I want to come here and we're going to go over to the uh, the settings screen by clicking the little gear icon. We're going to go to drivers and keys. And here you're going to see uh, me and my wife, Ashley. As you can see, she doesn't currently have any devices set up with her other than her key card. Uh, but if she had her old iPhone set up there or old phone, I would go ahead and remove that before we get started and it'll show you here the devices and you can see my phone's name and then my key card and my key fob. So right now we don't have anything set up, but if we did, what we would do is we would come down here to the device. We'd scroll down to security and access, click here where it says drivers and keys. And here's her user. If she had a phone, we would click into there and delete the phone. But uh, since there is no phone set up for her, we don't need to worry about doing that. So let's go ahead and go back. We'll go up here to the front screen. I'm gonna remain on this screen here, which is the, uh, oh, come on, focus. The drivers and keys uh, screen in the settings, because we're gonna have to come back to the screen, so I wanna make sure we're here. So on the phone down here, we're gonna go ahead and click get started. It's gonna give you the screen that says add your phone as a key. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe up. Make sure that you have Bluetooth enabled before you get anything going. So now it says tap setup now on your vehicle display. So we're gonna come back to the vehicle display here and immediately we got a pop-up that says preparing your phone. So we'll give that a second and then it says boom set up your phone key ashley's iphone uh you can do never mind later we're going to click see devices so it's going to bring me right back to this screen and you can now see that we have here the setup with a yellow or um you know border on this so we're going to go ahead and click that it says set up your phone key check your phone for a bluetooth prompt approve it to start pairing if i look at the phone here it's got a prompt that says rivian phone key would like to pair with your iphone so we're going to click pair all you need is phone and the open road. So you're done with that. We're gonna hit done. And then back on the screen here, there was a prompt that showed up, kind of, uh, you know, phone has been activated. And now you can see there from my wife, Ashley, she has her phone as well as her key, uh, key card that she has with her. And now she's ready to rock and roll and start using the, uh, the phone app and no longer has a message here that says anything about, uh, you know, having to set up the key or anything and we can go in here and click here and you can see now it says two keys there set up for her so very simple to do now uh one last step here is of course new phone means we have to set up bluetooth uh so if you want to be able to sync your media such as music and whatnot so i'm gonna go ahead and come back here and i'm gonna go into the bluetooth menu so we're just gonna click the bluetooth icon Right now it shows my phone there. I'm gonna click the little gear. It takes me to this screen that says Bluetooth, Jose's iPhone, but we wanna pair Ashley's iPhone, so we're gonna hit pair device. Uh, we're gonna make sure Bluetooth is enabled on the device. Now we wait, and now we're gonna come back down here to uh, my wife's phone. We'll go to the settings. We're gonna to go to Bluetooth. And as you can see, there's already some Rivian uh, sensors and stuff in there. That's all going to be for the key that we just set up. So this is um, just, you know, for, for that stuff. So if we come over here to the screen, you can see that Ashley's iPhone has popped up. So I'm gonna click connect. 
or just by tapping it and it'll say connecting. Wait for that. You're gonna get a prompt there that has a code on it. 345972 for this one. 345972, we'll hit pair. Do we wanna allow contacts to sync? Sure. And then if you look here, you'll see Rivian Audio. That's gonna be this, uh, it's always gonna be your media. And if we look here now, we can see Ashley's iPhone set up. And if you click the three little dots, you have the option to sync phone calls, contacts, media, as well as forget device. And you can tap between the different devices to connect uh, to the one that you wanna be connected at this time. Also, if you're up here, you can click on the little Bluetooth menu icon and you can disconnect your phone from there or you can tap on whichever one you connect to. So very easy to do. So just wanted to walk you through that uh, because we've had a couple of people ask, hey, how do I set up my new iPhone? Uh, this is also applicable for Android devices. So pretty much in terms of what's on the screen, it's gonna be the same. What's on your phone is probably gonna be a little bit different, but not too different. Following the same prompts, you'll wanna make sure your Bluetooth is on and it's uh, very simple, duper easy to use. So uh, that's it. A little quick little video here, but just wanted to show you what that looked like.